So this storage room is called New Day Storage. And they're the ones that lock my stuff up and his stuff up. But it's not in, um, it's not in, um, just PA. It's in Tennessee. And, um, she's, sorry to tell, like, she's a witch. Because she was acting all ignorant on the phone and hung up on me. She did not care about my situation or anything. Like, she's like a real evil lady, sound like. But they was questioning me when I went to that storage room. Um, when I was like opening the lock, he was like, do you know do you know um Tim? I'm like, yeah, I know Tim. And then I told him like, well, he gave me a key cuz I'm just using a storage room till I get a place and he let me use it. And he was like, and then I was trying to ask him like, do they have any storage rooms available? And he was like, he doesn't know whatever blah blah blah. And then I know the last time I went there there were some like trucks there like it was like nighttime and I was going in there and get some clothes to take to the hotel and um I brought some water out maybe they seen that um some water out and a um a pop tart so maybe they seen that or they're like wondering why I keep going back there and I don't run from them and they're like getting on his case because he has somebody going for him to a storage room and he's not allowed to do that really but i was like trusting the whole thing of what he was saying and trusting the whole situation of him letting me use his storage room that's the problem with me trusting him trusting the situations sometimes i trust over trustly people and i can't do that because you can't like trust the whole situation sometimes like what happened now with my stuff it should have like had my own storage room i should have had my own storage room and my own storage room and my own privacy space then i would have never been going through none of the stuff that i'm going through now i would have my stuff safe secure i wouldn't have to being taken advantage of, being locked up by somebody that doesn't understand the situation of what I'm going through, even though I explained to her in the voice message. And I showed her a video of proof of him saying a copy of the key, the whole video, the whole video showing his face and everything. And and um, That lady could care if she had like had like Jesus example, but it's not like that in this world. These people are evil in the world. They love to see somebody go down, especially if they're poor, like homeless, don't have nothing. And the person has something a little bit attached to, they're like take that little bit of stuff away from that person to hurt that person emotionally. And I'm like, already hurt emotionally i'm hurt emotionally already about a lot of things struggling out here in the streets trying to find somewhere to live and now i got my stuff taken away and this lady being so ignorant and mean and ignorant like there's no excuse for it you know but hey um i'll get that stuff back but it's the point of it all and like the cops, they act like they don't even care about the situation, especially the one in Ballhead. Now the one Andrew, he did care because he's telling like he'll talk to the female cop. But 
the bald guy, he seems like he's acting like some type of way. Like, I don't like it. It's like weird. And then they're probably sitting back laughing about the whole situation. Oh, she got her stuff taken. She got her stuff taken. That little color girl got her stuff taken. That poor girl. Like, they're so sad. Like, that's what people really do. Like, low key. And they don't even care nothing about it. That's how, like, the senseless people are, like. But I'm not even going to think about the situation, like. It's just, like, messed up. Because he gave me a key. He gave me permission, and I have the key in my book bag. So I did nothing wrong. But distrusting the situation and letting my stuff go that easy to trust the situation and I took a, um, a loss and now I gotta start over and that won't be a problem but it's crazy man Anyway, guys, I have to go, so I'll talk to you later. Bye.